What changes should be made to help keep teachers from leaving and taking jobs in other districts? What changes, what changes should be made to attract new teachers? Well, I believe that these two things go hand in hand. Um, all schools will continue to fight to keep teachers at their districts. We need to let prospective teachers know of the great insurance package that our district offers, reimbursement of professional development so our teachers will be able to work on their continuing education and professional growth. Develop a bonus or stipend for our teachers and employees to fit Randall School. I have been researching pay scales and stipends at other districts that are working and we need to conform them to the needs of Randall teachers. Kudos to Teresa Mortensen who is on our budget committee for starting the ball rolling on these topics of great concern. We have an outstanding principal at Randall, Erin Ziegler, and she has already done some amazing things and needs the support of administration to continue her hard work and dedication. Thank you. Yes. Mr. O'Connell? So I believe that um, we need to start with uh, taking care of our, our teachers and our employees. That starts with a, a fair and honest and respectful uh, salary negotiation through completion. We need to get that in place and we need to make sure that, that um, our, our teachers are, are treated fairly, compensated fairly. I agree with Mrs. Lass on looking at uh, opportunities to uh, revise our, our pay scale, including lane and step movements and look at all that again and let's let's measure against other schools and and see what they're doing and, and what our opportunities are uh, as board president before i brought teachers to the table to talk about the insurance plan i i, I was a co-author of our insurance plan that's in place now i'm very proud of the work we did there we brought teachers and, and employees to the table to walk us walk along with us as we built that plan would want to do the same thing here and, and have them help us understand why are why would teachers be leaving what are we missing so we need to look at those. We need to look at those uh, items very closely and figure out how we can do it. So other benefits as well: wellness plans for our, our employees and their families. Talked about the insurance before. Uh, we just need to make sure that we're taking care of our employees so they want to stay, and that we have the best opportunity for the best candidates that are out there as well. Mr. Shevitt, I agree with both candidates. Um, we definitely need to take care of our employees and. In as in any business or in any organization, the way to do that is um, with the environment. It's a healthy, happy environment for them to work in. It's also um, through pay, incentives, benefits. All of those things come into play. Uh, I'll say this, it's the school board though that sets the environment. And it's the responsibility of each school board member to make sure that you're setting up an environment that it follows the mission, the vision, the values, the goals of that school and establishes that so that everybody is on the same page. I'm not sure that that's been happening lately, but I hope that it can. Um, taking a look at what is the, the vision of Randall. Uh, we have history of excellence, but we can't sit back and say, we, we've been an excellent school. We need to look to uh, continue and to grow and develop that. Um, when it comes to attracting teachers, we want to have a school where student teachers want to come to learn from the best. We want to be able to have people that say, I want to teach at Randall because of the excellence in education. So if you develop an environment and you develop a reputation of having an excellent school, you will attract the best of the best, and then you'll continue to grow that organization and program. Um, it also will attract families. Um, having not just the best teachers, um, the best staff, um, and retaining them, but having that stability will attract families to our community. Uh, open enrollment has fundamentally changed uh, the face of education in Wisconsin, and I think we're going to talk about that later, so I won't spend too much time on that. But that has a fundamental change on public education. My wife and I chose to, to move to Randall because of an interview we had with Mrs. Lemmerker. Uh, we looked at Lake Geneva, Burlington, Kenosha. You know, I didn't get to tour Randall. My wife came home and said, you know, I met with this woman and I sat down and, and talked with her and that's the school I want my kids to be raised at. So I definitely appreciate the quality and the excellence and the reputation, but those are things that uh, we need to get back to. Um, I believe whatever is going to retain is also going to attract future teachers. We all speak about the financial part of it, and I think that's a huge part. Um, when we lost some of our teachers last year, we lost them to local schools that were offering more money, offering um, probably a better climate, and we need, to, we need to work on getting that back. When we speak of that, a uh, pay scale is huge. People need to know where they're starting and where they're going to end. We need to stipend for the work that's being done. We can't expect our teachers just to go in and do something because the love of the teach, which that's great, but we also need to award that also. 
We need to provide professional development um, and encourage our teachers to further educate themselves. And in the long run, that always benefits Randall. Um, creating a financial incentive for our teacher leaders, committee members, anything like that, uh, we, we need to offer money for that. So it's gonna be helping those teachers just keep striving. Um, I believe one of our biggest things we have to work on is some type of retirement language. Um, our, I will tell you right now, our current board is working very hard on these many things and working on the retirement language that we need to do and maybe even like a possible retirement payout. I know our budget committee has talked about that. Um, I think the biggest thing also is developing a school atmosphere and where teachers and staff feel valued, trusted, and respected by both administration, school board, and community. While the building of our new administration team, uh, the word leading by example will be created again. That alone, will, with the working of the school board, on incentives will create a healthy working environment.